What's your YouTube channel? Tom? Georgia Bassmaster. Yeah, check it I've out. I've seen some of your videos. Right in the live well. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Today's video is brought to you in part by Mystery Tackle Box, aka Carl's Bait and Tackle. I got, uh, I ordered some baits off Carl's Bait and Tackle. One of the things that I like to fish with this time of year is a six inch Guggen trench hog. And uh, these right here, I have the Bama bugs and I also have the watermelon color, but the Guggen trench hogs and also Mr. Tackle Box sends me some hooks and stuff. So I have paired all that up. I have it on this rod right here. We're gonna be taking the trench hog. I have a couple of extra baits just in case, depending on how they're hitting. I have the uh, Ketchco's bubonic square bill. I have that tied on this loose rod. And I also have the seven inch Guggen contender on this one. So we're gonna be taking some of these baits that you can get off Carl's bait and tackle. And uh, we're gonna be seeing if we can find any of these spawning bass. So if you don't know what Carl's bait and tackle is, it's basically a hub where you can buy all your fishing gear. They have all kind of products on there, swim baits, hard baits, crank baits, soft plastics. And if you have a Carl's club membership, you get to save 30%. Link is down there in the bio, so make sure you guys use it. But without further ado, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. We're gonna go ahead and meet you guys out there in the lake and see. I'm gonna, probably gonna try that swim bait first and depending on how hard the fishing is, gonna be using that Guggen bait, the trench hog. So we'll see you guys out there. There you go. He's pr acting pretty aggressive. Yeah. You want me to like get the lockers? You just gonna flip him up? Yep. Yeah. Time to start catching them. There you go. Well, we got back in this. Huh? I said we got back in this shallower yeah. pocket. They started biting. Yeah. I don't know if they're back here, but they seem to be doing better. Yeah. You're whooping me right now. Yeah. Just how you hooked him. Yeah. You double hooked him. Man can't even swim. Uh -uh. How you gonna do him like that? <laughs> you paralyze him, he just can't go nowhere. Yeah. You hook him in the head and the tail, you good. You probably gonna land him. All right, just a little midday update. I started my day off really trying to catch a fish on this seven inch Guggen swim bait, the little crappy edition. I had one strike on it first thing this morning. My dad ended up catching three on the Alabama rig. So uh, I'm guessing I've got a good three hours on the swim bait, so I'm gonna switch to some Guggen bait trench hogs. I really love throwing trench hogs, especially in the early spawn stages because uh, they can't stand them. I don't know if it's imitating some type of like a crawfish or like a lizard or something that they don't like and uh, they will really tear them things up. So we are driving to the next spot. I'm gonna be trying out a little bit deeper water. So see you guys there, peace. 
25 foot deep right off of it. They're hanging in places like that. You ought to be able to get them. Oh, I just had a bite. Come on. Not bad. I'm it myself. Right in the live well. That's how you boat flip a bass right there. Ooh. On the Guggen Trench Hog. He might be four pounds. And you know, that was the second bite I've had on this bank throwing that worm. Four eight. Four fourteen. All right, first bass of the day, four pounds, 14 ounces. Hard to get this thing on the screen, but got it on the, the uh, Guggen Trench Hog. I think it's like the Alabama Crawl color or something like that. But we're gonna put him in the live well, keep fishing it. We're gonna get back to fishing. Come on, 10 pounder right there. Yeah, man, I remember a couple years ago, like you come out here in March, even in April, there wasn't hardly nobody out here. Yeah. That was a bite. Still on there? Yeah. That feels good too. Might be better than the last one. I think he is. Oh no, he ain't that gum. Boy, had me fooled, boy. Man. That thing was like. Yeah, he was getting it. He was getting it. Yeah. How you fought that hard to be that small? No, that's a large mouth. A very pretty large mouth. But another one for the yeah. Guggen Trench Hog. Yeah, I don't know. He, I must have had him hooked weird or something. Like, I'm over here thinking, oh, this bass is even bigger than the last one. No. It's crazy. But he was uh, pretty close to the bank, too. Oh, here it is. Okay, good deal. You got your fishing license? Yeah, I got it on my phone. Okay. On the little DNR app, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, fish piled up right through the middle of the gut. Mm -hmm. uh, has it something to do with here the pressure is. flying? I don't know. Appreciate it. You got a, you mind if I see you in your well there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Yeah, well, we, we always gonna take We ain't keeping them. We just take a picture at the ramp and let them go. And people's go by, hey man, all the fish would be up there. I wish that was the case. Uh, <laughs> we don't yeah. fish up there because we left. I think I'll probably get a bunch of people saying, man, y'all don't throw that thing back. Give it to me, I'll keep it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them. Well, I'm like, no. What's your YouTube channel called? Georgia Bassmaster. Cool. Yeah, check I think it I've out. I've seen some of your videos. Probably. Y'all take it easy. Y'all too. I'll we'll see you later. All right. Have a good out here all the time. Well, old, uh, game warden just rolled up on us luckily we're always legal we got enough life jackets in the boat one extra life jacket and throw, cushion. throw cushion whistles flares fire extinguishers uh, we got everything except the fire extinguisher so they they're they're pretty lenient on that but they're probably gonna go get them some uh some money some tickets. A lot of people fish out here and just don't have permits because everybody thinks you can just fish out here. So the game warden, they make a lot of money out here. I know that one day last year, it was like three weekends in a row they were making like, they were giving 10 people a ticket, 10, 10 tickets a day at the ramp down here. So that's like a $150 ticket a pop. So always be legal.
All right, everybody, that is a wrap for today's video. Just loaded up the boat. Gonna be heading home here pretty soon. If you haven't already, get you a Carl's membership. Save some money on these baits. Use my link down below. But appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, got some big things happening. Going on a few trips here. I got like two trips planned right now out of state. So got some big videos, some big things coming to the channel. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really like the trench hogs during uh, the spawn. Like right into the early stages of spawn, I love a Guggen trench hog this time of year. They're really great. So until the next time, I got some more videos coming. See you guys next time. Peace.